Alright, this is Firestarter and this is a review of the SH Figurts Bloodstock from the Series Kamen Rider build. So this is the packaging, this is a Tamashi Web Shop exclusive, so you won't see anything uh, like a window to sh see the figure inside. So this is the packaging, you already have the figure in front and then it says here Tamashi FX Extreme and so as the other side and then at the back it just says as well tamashi fx team so this one has a bonus feature so let's open the box so i can tell you more about the figure and some of the contents inside following rose steampunk animal theme bloodstock features his cobra accent on the chest though the structures are more subtle and focused more on the upper part of the body most follow the actual suit in the series such as the tendrils on both arms sharp shoulder armors and a prominent horn on his head he has six extra hands and a trans themed gun since he shares the same gun as rogues the default rifle also forms into two other modes such as the gun and the blade mode the bottle of the gun can be removed as well and the knob can be twisted the additional part or parts are the steam effect sets. The stands are of different height though the base are the same. The steam effect themselves are on different modes and can be used interchangeably with other Tamashi stage like the stage 4 versions. So let's go through the articulation points for this figure. We have a head and neck joint. It can tilt all the way to the back but not in front because of the, the piece right here. The shoulder pads go in and out. We have an upper bicep swivel, an elbow joint, a wrist joint, and then upper torso and waist. I feel that there's a, some limitation right here. You can really push yourself to the limit when you move the figure. However, I feel like it rubs through the material. And especially here on the upper torso because, uh, because these cables right here, uh, in the long run, I feel that it will rub off if you um, keep on playing with this and you try to move this from left to right and then we have uh, upper thigh swivel uh, leg articulation right here it goes uh, all the way right here and then elbow a uh, knee joint sorry about that a uh, foot joint and a toe joint very typical of uh, other common rider build figures in this line so an another thing that you need to know is this is very delicate so it does say so, does say on the instruction to take care of this one, and um, this is the first time I'm seeing this, but it, it has some form of movement, or it does follow whenever I try to pull these this leg down, and then the other uh, part goes up. So I'm not so sure it's, it is very unique for Kamen Rider build, but this is the first time I'm really seeing this in this line. So uh, those are the things that you need to know about this figure. The problems shared between Rogue and Stock with waist and torso articulation are constricted with both lateral and linear movements. It is bizarre that the inner leg joints affect the other. However, it is not uncommon, especially with other figure arts. I'm in offense to what to rate the figure overall. It is not bad nor great either. The steam effect set is a good add-on, but in my opinion, doesn't really add that much value in this Bandai Collector Shop exclusive. And that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Bloodstock. If you want to know the possibilities and details of the figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to this channel for more more toy reviews.